Okay, so these are steps four and five combined because these are pretty quick. So far, we've created a main login page. This has, of course, a, a login form so a person can type in their username or password. When that form is submitted, it goes to the check login page. And this was a lot of there's a lot of stuff on here. This is where the database is connected to, and the person's submitted username and password are checked with the existing database. And if they're there, they run a query. If everything is successful, it goes on to the login success PHP page. Now the login success PHP page is pretty simple. There's a PHP chunk up here, and basically, if the session is not registered to the my username. Remember, a session was created in the check login uh, PHP page. Now, of course, the exclamation mark means not. So, if the session is not registered to the username, then they simply are reverted back to the login page, main login.php. However, if everything is hunky dory, then they are displaying to a normal page. So, a page that can only be accessed, by the way, if a person logs in successfully. So, they get their welcome and their login successful. Now, if they move on to other pages, they can always come back to this because the session still exists. So to log out, they would click this hyperlink, which would take them to logout.php. And logout.php ensures that the session ends, and then they get a simple web page confirmation, you've, you've logged out. Now, a lot of these can be co combined. You could put some PHP on the existing web page, for instance. So let's jump over to the browser and test this out. So here's my login, and if I type in John and 4567, that's the incorrect password in the login, I of course get the wrong username and password. Might be nice to actually have that appear on the very same page where the form is. Now if I type in a correct John1234, login is successful. And I could watch, I could review this page, I could click on other pages and so forth. Um, for instance, if I go to CNN. Everything's fine. I can click back and I'm back at my page. Now if I definitely want to log out, I log out. Session is terminated. If I try to go back to login success.php, it will automatically revert me to the login page because my session has ended and I just can't get back to anything except the login page. So by completing these few steps you can create a basic login. And I say basic because this doesn't do a number of other things that many login scripts will. For instance we haven't been prompted yet in order to create a user account. So there are other tutorials and other techniques we can use to, if not already a member, create an account and we could have a form submit and it could actually write new data into the database into the table which would list a new username and password and then you could give that user unique account abilities